All right. Mrs. O'Donnell here. Um, another question came through for the Delta Math assignment on writing equations given a linear, given a linear situation. So remember, um, we know we have a linear function if we can identify a constant rate of change. Okay. Some reminders that uh, some ways that you can kind of help remember what a constant rate of change is. You can think about where is that slope in your formula. Well, it's the coefficient, right? In your let me grab my pen here. It's the coefficient in your y equals mx plus b, right? So it's the thing that's being multiplied by your x, by your input. So you want to really look for those key words, those multiplication words of each. Um, so let's see here. When Sarah left her house this morning, her cell phone was 80% charged, and it then started to lose 8% charge for each hour thereafter. Write an equation for B in terms of T, representing the charge remaining in Sarah's battery as a percentage T hours after Sarah left her house. All right, so we know we're gonna write B equals, okay? And let's see here, it's telling us this last sentence here is telling us a lot about what the variables mean, right? It's defining our variables. So B is the amount of battery that life that she has, and T is how long it's been since she's left her house, right? Okay, so let's see here. When Sarah left her house this morning, her cell phone was 80% charged. Right, so that's where it starts or it begins. That's our beginning point. Let's see if my pen catches up. Okay, <laughs> um, that's our beginning point. And then it's losing 8% charge for each hour, right? Or T, right? Remember the time is our hours after she's left her house. All right, so 8% for each hour, that's telling us multiplication. Okay, so we wanna write that. I'm gonna write my percents as a decimal because whenever you're writing an equation, it's a little nicer to use percents as a decimal. So 8% uh, would be 0 0.08 or eight out of 100. Um, and that's times T instead of times X. And we know she started with 80% charge or 0.8, okay? But she's not gaining 8%, she's losing 8%. So I'm gonna make sure I include a negative there. And of course that is equal to B. Let's go ahead and type that into Delta Math and just double check that we did that um, correctly, so negative 0.8t plus, oh, 0.08t, excuse me, plus 0.8. Submit and see what Delta says. Do they like it? Yes, I want to go for it. And, oh, let's see what I did wrong. Okay, so what did I do wrong? I wrote as a decimal instead of as, uh, as whole numbers. They just wanted integers. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like I did wrong here. They did not want it written as a percent. They wanted it or as a decimal. They just wanted it written as integers.